Hey folks, how y'all doing today? We're making a, I'm doing an update on my more solar, more solar power for winter, or more solar pa panels for winter. But anyway, I'm going to give you a little update with my newest addition, my uh, auto lock adjustable solar panel we're just doing. The 240, the two 120 watt 12 volt panels in series at 24 volts with a little Morningstar ProStar 15. I'm going to show you what it's, what it's doing. And I have it set at about a 30 uh, 2 degree angle right now. I have it on, out on the tilt mount. I have it extended out. But I'm going to let you see what it's doing. Okay y'all. Sit back and enjoy. Alright. Alright. Right here we're putting out 3 amps, solar amps. saying 27 by 27.5 volts 3 amps of solar and 3 amps of solar so 3 amps at 24 volts that would probably be over I want to say close to 100 watts of power if I'm not right y'all correct me but close to 100 watts. But three amps we're putting out. All right. And anyways, the other the other uh, charge controllers. This is the 1610 array. Uh, we're putting out 38 amps at 1050 watts and the 700 watt array we're putting out 15.1 amps at 420 watts so that kind of gives you a, a rough estimate what kind of power producing and it's right at 12 noon and today so far we produced uh, today so far we produce four kilowatt hours and we're bringing in 1.4 kilowatt hours now I'm assuming 1.1400 watts and four kilowatt hours so far all right and it's a little update on the system. Let go back to this. 27.4 volts. 3.0. Uh -oh. I'm going to say 3.1. It's getting better. It's probably climbing. That sun's getting right dead on those panels. That's at 3.1 now. Alright. I'm going to show you. Anyway, this is how I got a rig. As a show y'all again um, my PV positive this is my PV connections 12 on the 12 amp fuse and my battery going to my pro star disconnect PV disconnect and that's going to my this little charge controller right here and the pro star 15 morning star pro star 15 27.4 volts 3.1. Well, we're getting that one up there, y'all. Alright. Oh, and uh, the charge is, is showing it's charging right here. And the battery's good to go. So, yeah, it's a nice little charge control. 140 bucks at all the. Alright. Okay, let's show you. I'll show you the panel. Fucking walk right. <laughs> Sorry about that, y'all. But the conditions are great. It's like 42 degrees out here today. And the sun is shining. And there we go, y'all. Look at that. They're opened up. Man, I'll get, I'll get, get you another angle with that. Alright, y'all hang.
cling tight. But anyway, yeah, it's been raining for about the past five days. And, and cloudy and cold. A little bit of ice camp got on the trees, but other than that, we were pretty lucky. No, no, uh, no ice or freezing rain, nothing like that. Never lost power. Power never blinked. That's a good thing. But then again, I'm ready if it does uh, shut down. But here, here is another view of my arrays. My new array right here. The two 120 watt Alt-E 12 volt panels in series to make 24 volts. And two of them is equal to 200 and 40 watts so that's a little bit of shading on those panels not too much but hey any little bit of power especially this time of year in the winter 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 solstice will be December I think 21st or 22nd y'all can correct me if I'm wrong but yeah it's, it's getting a lot of sunlight versus my flatter panels up there on the roof they're getting a lot, a lot of power, but not this time of year. So that was another reason why I added the, the tilt arrays, the side mount tilt array, and love it. And you can see where the hinges are up there, and my PV cable, and I got it enclosed. And some wire cover, and it goes from a combiner box. So, but anyway, let me get back and show you what it looks like from a distance. But overall, I'm I'm pretty happy. I mean, throughout, I mean, right now the sun. I want to show you the angle of the sun. The sun. It's right there now. I got some trees right here. I get a little blockage there this time of year. But pretty soon we'll be back getting more sun, more daylight. The earth's going to start turning on a different axis after winter solstice. So we'll be getting more daylight and more power. So that's a good thing. All right. But anyway, there it is from a distance. And I rode down the road and looked at it. It looks don't look too bad. I don't think. Let me know what y'all think about it. But that's how it looks like. That's extended out. And I can also close them up. Um, either way, but yeah, I'm getting good sunlight. Look at them things shining. I love to see this polycrystalline crystallines light up in the sunlight. Okay, give you another little angle from a distance. There they are. That's a little bit of shade, not too much. But that's all I got set up, y'all. And the hinge mount. Auto lock system, one of my YouTubers said. But anyway, I'll cut this short, but it's working good. Making power. That's the main thing. Any little bit of power this time of year helps out a lot. But I think it's pretty tough. Plus, I'm going to fold them up out of the way. All right. Well, I want to thank you all for watching. Um, this is KVSMC. And thank y'all for watching. Please subscribe. And you can find me on Facebook or Skype or Google Plus. Um, Ken F. W. Vire Jr. And KVSMC. Okay, thank y'all for watching. Y'all have a great one. All right, now. Y'all have a good um, next, next few days. All right, please subscribe. All right, bye-bye.